Hello and welcome to Maths with Mr Holmes. What will you learn today? Let me tell you. It's ping pong maths. Part one. Number bonds. We have a fun game for you today that's going to help you learn your number bonds in maths. We have the steps of learning written up clearly so you can follow along step by step as we go. First things first, we choose a number bond. Like here, we've decided we were going to learn our number bonds to five. We then have player one. Player one could be a teacher. It could also be a mum, a dad, a child, up to you. Player two is who you're playing along with. So if you're a teacher, that could be the whole of your class or a small group. If you're a child, it could be your brother or your sister, perhaps a cousin or a friend. And if you're a mum or dad, it could be your son or daughter or perhaps even your wife or husband. Player one then chooses a number. So here you can see we've shouted that the number two. Player two then says the number bond. So as we're after the number bonds to five, this person shouted three because two and three make five. And this is the important bit, especially in maths, it's really good to use repetition. So not just say the answer once, but to repeat it. This is good, especially with those less confident if you're working in small groups. If those that are more confident will say the answer and then you can go along with the others. And then of course the game's not finished. We start again, but with a different number. Once the game's over, we could choose different number ones. Okay then. It's time to have a little practice. We'll start with number bonds to five. So as we know our steps to learning, we'll follow those step by step and we'll play the game. Right then, is everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're doing number bonds to five then. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Pong. One. Five, oh, four. One. Four. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Three. Two. Three. Two. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Zero. Five. Zero. Five. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Three. Five. Two. Three. Two. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Four. One. Four. One. Okay, as you can see, we had a few little difficulties, but that is absolutely fine because practice makes perfect. And the more you play it, the more confident you will get. So let's have a little go with number bonds to 10. Maybe a little bit tricky, but we'll have a go. Is everybody ready? I think so, yeah. Here we go then. So we'll follow our steps of learning. And let's go. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Five. 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 Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Nine. One. Nine. One. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Eight. Two. Eight. Two. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Two. Eight. Two. Eight. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Six. Four. Six. Four. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Seven. Three. Seven. Three. Ping. Pong. Ping. Pong. Three. Seven. Three. Seven. Absolutely fantastic. Well yeah. done, everyone. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Who doesn't enjoy a game of ping pong maths with our number bonds? Now, of course, we don't need to stick just to number bonds to five or even number bonds to ten. We could, as we get in as we're getting better and more confident with maths, 
look at number bond to 20 perhaps, maybe number bond to 100, starting off with perhaps multiples of 10 and then getting on to multiples of 5 and then obviously uh, the easier uh, versions can then be extended so that we can do multiples of 1. So perhaps 31 and when we get more confident. You can even stretch it to perhaps number bonds to one. So looking at tenths first and then perhaps looking at hundredths. Like recycling, the possibilities are endless. So everybody's had a great time playing ping pong mats. Why don't you try ping pong mats with your number bonds at home or at school? And I'll see you again soon for some more maths fun.